This video demonstrates how to effectively use AirScreen View's Scenario Wizard. The AirScreen model estimates worst-case impacts of one-hour ground-level pollutant concentrations, which saves time over refined modeling, but it only analyzes one source per model run. To analyze multiple sources, separate model runs must be performed. AirScreen View handles this limitation through its unique Scenario Wizard, which allows for quick and efficient generation of multiple modeling scenarios and also provides direct access to each scenario's input data and output files. Let's take a closer look at the Scenario Wizard in action. Here I have the AirScreen View tutorial project open, which features a single point source, as shown in the main display on the right. On the left, I have the scenario's tree view with full input and output details for two existing completed modeling scenarios. If I modify this project by adding new sources, I'll need entirely new modeling scenarios to analyze those sources' impacts. After adding a new area source and some new volume sources, I go to the scenario's tree view. I can create a brand new scenario by selecting the New button, or I could select an existing scenario and use the Copy button to create a new scenario with the same settings as the existing one. Note that there's no limit on the number of scenarios you can create. You can create multiple scenarios for each source to, say, analyze impacts of different pollutants or emission rates. I'll start by creating a brand new scenario for my area source. Using the Notes field, I can label the scenario. The Next and Back buttons allow me to move step by step through the wizard. In Step 2, I select which source I want to analyze, set the emission rate, and even label the pollutant. The rest of the scenario options are filled out to complete the scenario. All of the input options are summarized in the Scenarios Tree view. For my next scenario, I'll create a copy of Scenario 3. I select the scenario to copy and press the Copy Existing Scenario button. A new Scenario Wizard appears, Scenario 4, which contains all of the same input information as Scenario 3. After editing the notes, I return to Step 2 to select a new source and modify the emission rate. When I'm ready to execute the new scenarios, I select the Run button. The modeling batcher already knows I have two completed scenarios and two that need to be run. After running the models, the Scenario Output Results dialog opens so I can view my new output. The output files are also available for review via the Scenarios Tree View. You can learn more about AirScreen View by visiting our website, www.weblakes.com. Thank you for watching.